Did you know that you can reduce your cancer risk if you exercise for a couple of hours each week? In this video, you will learn how physical activity can reduce your risk of dying from cancer. We will also look at how many hours you need to train each week to see the best results. So let's start. Adults of all sizes and shapes gain health and fitness benefits by being active. Running improves your stamina and makes your body more efficient. Regular exercise causes your heart and breathing rates to return to resting levels quicker. It is also key to weight control because it burns calories. When you exercise, you don't crave food as much. Working out reduces stress, leaves moods, and helps you sleep better. You both look and feel younger. Physical activity improves your body's oxygen rate and blood flow. Both of these changes have a direct effect on your brain. Exercise increases your brain's production of endorphins. Endorphins create a feeling of well-being and euphoria. Physical activity can also make you worry less about your cancer diagnosis. If you undergo chemotherapy, it can help you combat the fatigue from the treatments. More time spent in sedentary behavior increases the risk of all-cause mortality. Strong scientific evidence shows that physical activity delays death from all causes. This includes the leading causes of death such as heart disease and cancer. Research demonstrates the importance of avoiding inactivity. Even low amounts of moderate physical activity reduce the risk of all-cause mortality. These effects apply to both men and women regardless of their weight. Leisure time physical activity is protective against cancer according to most research. Cancer cells are oxygen deprived, so by exercising you can deliver extra oxygen to the cells. Adults who take part in higher amounts of physical activity have less risk of getting bladder, breast, colon, endometrium, esophagus, kidney, lung, and stomach cancer. An analysis of 71 existing studies showed reduced cancer death when people exercised. Cancer patients that walked at least two and a half hours per week were 13% less likely to die from cancer than those with the lowest activity level. Researchers looked at data in terms of met hours. A met hour measures the time and energy expended in given activities. Resting represents one met, while a four met activity like brisk walking uses four times as much energy. So doing a four met activity for 30 minutes equals two met hours. 50 met hours per week of physical activity makes you 27% less likely to die from cancer. That's about 35 minutes per day of moderate intensity aerobic exercise. The Journal of the American Medical Association followed 2,987 women with breast cancer. This study also proved that physical activity reduced the risk of dying from cancer. The greatest benefit occurred in women who walked 3 to 5 hours per week at an average pace. Women with hormone-responsive tumors also showed great results. Another study followed more than 118,000 postmenopausal women. Seven hours of moderate to vigorous activity per week reduced their breast cancer risk with 16% compared with inactivity. The Clinical Oncology of Australia says that exercise should be part of our standard cancer care. Exercise is a safe and effective way to offset many of the adverse effects of cancer and its treatments. Being physically active also provides a protective effect against cancer recurrence and mortality. The Office of Disease Prevention and Health Promotion recommend 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity of physical activity each week. The guidelines for adults focus on two levels of intensity, moderate and vigorous. Two minutes of moderate exercise equals one minute of vigorous activity. Adults gain more health benefits with even more physical activity. Muscle strengthening exercises also help. They are an essential part of an adult's overall physical activity plan. The majority of people with cancer do not meet exercise recommendations. Your exercise regimen should not be strenuous or deplete you of energy. Physical fitness is the ability to carry out daily tasks with vigor without any fatigue. So you should still have energy left to enjoy leisure time pursuits. So don't pressure yourself to follow the recommended guideline if you're not able to. Do as much physical activity that you can manage. Then increase the intensity in incremental steps. Exercise to 50% of your capacity. 
For example, if 30 minutes of walking is your limit, then only walk for 50 minutes. Then slowly increase your activity level. An increase in oxygenation may only need 30 to 60 minutes of exercise or more per week. Exercise is only one part of a healthy lifestyle. You should also change your diet, reduce your stress and detox. So if you have cancer and want to start exercising, then download our free guide. Learn 20 easy exercises you can use if you have cancer. The link to this document is in the description box below. Working out reduces stress, lifts moods and helps you sleep better. Physical activity can help you offset many of the adverse effects of cancer and its treatments. You can reduce your cancer risk if you exercise for a couple of hours each week. Aim for at least 150 to 300 minutes of activity each week or more. If you enjoyed this video, then press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share this video on social media with all your friends and families. Also visit our blog at cancerwisdom.net to learn non-toxic ways to treat cancer. You can also download free documents from our free resource library to learn more about cancer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.